It's time to mind your business with me, Jamila Lodge. Tune in to find out how to mind your business with BEDC, special guest entrepreneurs, industry experts, and more. Brought to you by BEDC. Bermuda business starts here. Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome to Mind Your Business. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? I am so pleased to have both of you here today. So Felisa DeRosa, owner of De Rosia, and Keisha Tiro, owner of Inzuri. Now, Keisha, you've been on the show before. Yes. And we had a fabulous conversation about your uh, journey as an entrepreneur. So we're going to talk a little bit about that again. Okay. And then talk about this partnership that you formed for the holiday season. Yeah. So I'm going to start with you, Felisa. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I have been a massage therapist for about 16 years now. Um, I did a detour. I was working alongside my dad for 11 years. And now I have transitioned back to working full-time for myself as well as um, making products and just expanding the business the way that I've always wanted to. So, so talk to me a little bit about what you did with your dad because I don't think the people know, <laughs> right? Because it's like she's a massage therapist, she's in beauty, but then she was like, oh yeah, I work with my dad. What What were you doing? Um, we co in a automotive car garage doing everything from services, body paint, TCD testing. <laughs> so I had a staff of four that was under my belt. Um, and yeah, I was running that full time and I just was like, this is not my passion. It's right. my dad's passion. And right. I decided, um, 2019, I was going back to my passion full time in 2020 and then pandemic hit. Yeah. Um, but I still focused on it um, and made it happen. So it's a pandemic business. Okay. So, yeah. But I just think it's so interesting that, you know what I mean? They're so <laughs> polar opposite, <laughs> they, right? They are. <laughs> One is about being beautiful <laughs> yes. and clean. And no, then it's getting like oil yeah. and dirt and grit. Just very mellow, <laughs> you know, but the garage was just like, it was such a learning curve. Yeah. Um, managing man was a whole nother ball game. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, so I'm thankful for that journey and the lessons I learned along the way, the connections, taking BDC courses yeah. at the time, which was absolutely necessary. Um, so I knew that's, that's definitely going to propel me on this this new endeavor full time. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. Well, Keisha, you yeah. are also in the beauty industry. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and Inzuri. So, like Felisa, Inzuri Beauty was a pandemic baby. So, <laughs> these <you> know, pandemic <laughs> babies <laughs> making it happen. You know? Exactly. I literally i I had this vision. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I just didn't know what it looked like, and then skincare it just it came to me and mm -hmm. once i got the ball rolling and started it just felt right mm -hmm. so in zuri beauty is a skincare line that focuses on healthy aging is what i like to say you okay. know if we're blessed to age we might as well age well right. so we have a cleanser a toner um, a day serum and a night serum right now i am looking to expand the collection but that's the focus right now catering to supporting a woman's healthy skin journey okay well both of y'all look beautiful i mean <laughs> Yeah, glowing. <laughs> so something is working. Despite all these trials, you know, the holiday season. You can look good, lack right? Of sleep right now. Lack of sleep right now. But. So tell me how you guys came to know each other and how to be, be in this joint venture, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Um, through the Enterprise program. Yes. Um, Keach and I have known each other over the years. Okay. And, but then we kept running into each other at events. For different things and then we realized we're both in this program together so it's like oh well let's you know join forces and yeah yeah see what comes yeah. out of that exactly well i think it, it speaks to collaboration mm -hmm. and both of you are in the beauty industry and some people can be like oh well we're competitors you do you right. i'm gonna do me over here and don't worry about it what how did you, how do you, what is your opinion of collaboration versus competition? I'll ask you first, Keisha. I think that once you're clear on who you want to speak to, mm. who you want to target, it doesn't matter. Like, 
I am very clear on the Inzuri Beauty woman. Right. Like I know who I want to speak to. I also know who I want Inzuri Beauty to sit next to as right. well. So I look at that as my competition okay. as as a part to um focus it. you can't be a comp- a competitor to everybody. Like True that. you have to be very specific. Mm-hmm. And while Felisa as well as um we have Astoria of Lacket mm-hmm. Lounge mm-hmm. and um Charlena of Nia yeah, Concierge yeah. as well, part of our pop-up you know three of us are in the beauty industry Mm -hmm. but the three of us are speaking to three completely different individuals so to me you know it's funny like um felicia said when we go to these events you see other individuals Mm -hmm. but i don't necessarily take that on Mm -hmm. i just i focus on who i'm speaking to and i stick to that and i'll give you the opportunity um i would say it's more um a lot of just uplifting each other yeah um our struggles are pretty much the same, mm-hmm. even though we are catering to different people. Mm-hmm. Um, we all have the shipping issues. Mm-hmm. We all have supply chain issues. Mm-hmm. Um, dealing with getting a product here, um, the consistency of having it available because people want it when they want it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, so with the collaboration, it just allows us all to have a space to introduce the product to new clients mm-hmm. um, for the regulars to find us mm-hmm. um, on a more consistent basis. And to just showcase, like, I now know more about each of their businesses and yes. what they do. So if I got a client that can call me, even though I am a massage therapist, um, I can say, okay, I don't do manicures and pedicures, but go to that story at yeah. Lacquer Lounge in St. George and let her know Felisa sent you. Um, so that it just shares the information across the board. Um, and I think that's a really beautiful thing because you find a lot of women, they people think that, oh, women are catty. Yeah. The competition is there. Oh. Um, you know, and then even with us, um, I make my products myself. Mm-hmm. Keisha manufactures overseas, and even within that, some people are like, I don't want it if it's manufactured overseas, mm-hmm. even though it's a Bermuda product. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the day, we are here to serve everyone, yeah. and I think that's what people need to recognize and understand. It's beauty in everyone's product. Mm-hmm. And you will find what is what works what for you, works for yeah. you right, and yeah. what you're happy with, and yeah. if you're not... Um, I just tell people, don't always just try it once and walk away. Mm-hmm. Like, you spend good money, so reach out to the biz- us as business owners. So, you know, we may be able to assist you better. Or for me, I can probably make a better product for mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. that doesn't have something that may irritate you. And mm-hmm. I think that's a beautiful thing to hear that people don't generally see. Right. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's working for us. So let's talk about this pop-up market, okay? <laughs> so, um, like you mentioned, you're both in Enterprise Bermuda. Um, this is the incubator program with us for 12 months. And so it wasn't our idea, but we was like, all right, you know? <laughs> so BDC is, is happy to sponsor the pop-up mm-hmm. market. But what made you even think of it? Um, the idea. <laughs> um, the idea originally started. I requested the space. Yeah. Um, I intended to turn it into a whole workshop. Okay. Um, and I understand it came back and was like, "Are you gonna invite others in your group?" Yeah. Now within the program, we have different CEO groups. Yes. All of those that agreed are in my CEO <laughs> group. So they were going to be asked anyway. Right. But I intended to make the space a little different than what it is. But I am still working in yeah. that space. So yeah. that keeps it open mostly every day. Um, we rotate in and out who's in there. But for the most part, I am there working packaging. So people can come in and ask questions. Mm-hmm. And then they are introduced to each line mm-hmm. um, when they come in. And then we also have... Um, another company that assisted us with decorations Mm -hmm. and so we are able to promote for her as well Um, so it's just continuously promoting everyone yeah yeah I mean I love it I think it's a great idea um, and that we didn't already have it in as a (laughs) to-do item well now it's gonna be on there Because it makes sense. I mean, we do it for our summer students, right? Because right. they are forming these businesses right. versus already having them. So we try to identify opportunities for them to do it. And I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't we do it for those in the incubator program? Um, and I think it makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's, it's not easy. It wasn't easy. And it um, works for us. Like you said, we're in the same CEO group. Right. So then we all put our hand up. 
it was uh, we already we, had yeah, a vibe going right, yeah, anyway yeah, and so i think work being in the program it's kind of allowed us to understand each other, understand what different business owners go through. Um, so yes, when we said, okay, we have this space, mm -hmm. now what? We had to work together. To figure Everybody out Everybody came with work. a different idea. Yeah. Everybody came, you know, we were all excited at first. And then we had to realize we need to scale back if we're gonna make this work yeah. together because we all have different visions. Yes. But we all have one space to work in. How right. are we going to do it? So, yeah, we took us a few days of <laughs> lots of messaging and conversations and phone calls and out. voice <laughs> notes. And, yeah. It's really cute, though. Like, this place is really You know, that you're thinking of being somewhere daily. Yes. And, it's you know, different. we've been in yeah. there since the middle of November. Mm hmm and when you were not anticipating <laughs> the stock level that's required to yes. be in there, um, it definitely, you know, and a story of Black Lawn, she has never really done a pop-up, mm -hmm. right? Because she has her studio yeah, in her Georgia, yeah, right? right? So it's like a learning curve for her mm -hmm. and what that looks like. And then people come in, I have a credit card machine, and it's like, they're picking up from everybody. Yeah. It's like, oh, just ring it up. So it's like... I can't stand her and say, no, no yeah, go yeah. on her website and yeah, charge yeah, her yeah, what yeah, yeah. you know, so she was like, this is what it is, and I know this among good yeah. to this person, this among good, so we're just making it work. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I don't think that there's a script, you no. know what I mean, for entrepreneurship, <laughs> and, and the, but, but what I will say is it's solution-oriented, yes. right? And so you guys were like, here's the opportunity. Now, how are we going to make this work? Yeah, exactly. And I do feel like that is an opportunity going forward for other vendor markets. Because I, I think I traveled to, what was I? South Africa. And they had this vendor market. And it was one checkout mm -hmm. area. Everybody got their stuff. Mm -hmm. So you shopped around. And then you went to the one mm -hmm. checkout. And they reconciled. Yeah. Like exactly. at the end of the night. Yeah. So you got your money. You got what you... And so... That's what's happening organically. Yeah, that exactly. that. So, you know, you have to know, like, this is our product, yes. and this is the cause, yeah. and so just rock with it. Yeah. There's no point in trying to say, okay, well, you have to pay her yeah. stuff. People are not trying to hear that. They're no. coming in to shop for Christmas, and it's like, okay, this is for... Who, which skin type? Yes, yes, yes. You know, yes. So it's like you can use this for this, this, and this, and then Nia's concierge has cosmetic bags that you can put it all in, yeah. and you're good to go. Yeah. So, and yeah. even within that, we've collaborated to say, okay, she has a wine bag that yeah. she makes. But if you're creative, you can put tan soaps in it yeah, and yeah, hang yeah. it up in your bathroom. Right. And, you know, so it's it's been really good. Oh, yeah. I love that. We're making it work. <laughs> and that's what it's about, I think. Yeah. And so um, what are your hours of operation? When can people find you? Um, and talk a little bit more about the products that you have available mm -hmm. so people can know and come and shop. So scheduling wise, which again was another discussion. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> and to be quite honest, we all have commitments. Yes. We all had commitments before we even Got agreed this. on this pop up. Mm -hmm. So we had to juggle that as well. I work full time. Yes. You know, Astoria's in St. George's. Nia has her space. Like we were trying to figure out logistically how this was going to work. And once we had the many, many discussions, the first thing we said was we need to be easy on ourselves right like we cannot do it all yeah. and so we have this we decided at least in the first couple of weeks you know astoria's day off yeah she'll come in on tuesdays right. like she'll that will be her day but we always said everybody had to learn everybody's business yeah so that if there's only one person there at least you could speak to everybody right. so if somebody's at my table they could sell astoria stuff mm -hmm. if somebody's coming in for felicia they could it could work that way so we've kind of scheduled it where there was always somebody in right now, weekends were difficult because we all had commitments to markets right. or anything else but we said you know what if we just say it's these are the dates and be completely transparent mm -hmm. about it these are the dates that you have to shop and that's what we real with so okay. we're open during the week weekends are a little challenging sometimes but if somebody's available they'll pop in but for the most part somebody's there monday to friday yeah Okay. Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. um, usually say from 11 o'clock yes. to about 6, 6.30. Okay. Um, the good thing is we are located next to the English market, which yes. is right down the stairs from Gibbons Company. 
they are open to seven, even mm-hmm. though the mall closes like six o'clock. Right. So we just kind of hang out with, as people yeah. come. Okay. Um, like I said, just depend on our schedule years. Mm-hmm. Um, so December, hopefully, um, we'll be open Saturdays and mm-hmm. some Sundays. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's market it's season, just, right? And, yeah. Yeah, and people have been coming in and it's like, are you available for this market? And it's like. For the first time, I'm like, no, <laughs> I can't take on any more markets because, right. like, the product level of making sure the mall is stocked, plus your events, um, is it's been um, an interesting challenge. I was gonna say, know. look at this challenge. Yeah, like the growth of it all to mm-hmm. know that like we're doing this yeah, and yeah. we're making it work, and everyone is getting something out of it. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna look back on it in January and. See, see what if you know something we may want to do again yeah um in the spring or something but yeah we're just trial by hour but we're doing great with it because yeah. it's definitely, open more than it's closed exactly and we're definitely getting the foot traffic um we have we have one worker that's been stable my oh. mom <laughs> All right, mom, come you through. Yeah. You got a cool family you can. Yeah. And so, Much yeah. appreciation to Miss Terry because I'm like, Miss Terry, I'm like, Keisha, let your mama know. How many in at like one? I'll be in at three. She's like, she's got the food. I'm like, the credit yeah. cards with the machines on the table. She's like, holding the food yeah. down for sure. People come in and she's learning about everybody's yes. business yeah. and she'll yeah. send me messages. Oh, what do I say for this? I'm mm-hmm. just like, just go with it. People yeah. will just, they'll appreciate yeah. that we're there yeah. and that someone is able to just assist how we can. So, I, I mean, I, I really think it speaks to the opportunity that exists for something like this to happen, like you Good said, forward, on a recurring right. basis, because a lot of times, especially when you're starting up, mm. the expense of getting your own place, exactly. you know, and having to cover that cost and having to pay somebody to be there. You know, mm. we all don't have my material. Exactly. So. <laughs> I mean, we considered hiring somebody, right? Exactly, but we couldn't but find like, anybody. Yeah, it the was challenge tough. challenge in that, like, people will be surprised at how hard it is to find somebody to man your part. Your, your, really? Your table at a pop up. That is yes. so interesting. Yeah, like it's not it's not as easy yeah. as people think it is. Mm-hmm. So oh I could do that and then they get there and it's like if y'all got six people at your table, you gotta keep your eye on yes. every single person, right? Yes. Um and just making sure that every person feels welcomed mm-hmm. at your table and yet their questions are answered. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people it's it's too much face to face direct, right. like person's literally three feet from me. Right, mm-hmm. right. And not something that they it's are for everybody to exactly it's yeah not. exactly that's interesting that's an interesting problem because you know you hear about people saying oh i'm looking for something i'm yeah. looking for something but the nature of what, of what vending it is. requires yeah. is like you have to be customer service exactly. oriented you have to you exactly have to, and because not, it's so many yeah. you have to know all the products so exactly you have to interesting very yes. interesting yeah <laughs> you have to come out of your shower when it comes to being at a market, yeah, any I mean, market. Yeah, um, if you want to sell, if you want to sell exactly. something, you do. Is the smallest of things can make a difference. Like coming to a table and somebody doesn't stand up. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. He was like, "Okay, never mind." Yeah, right? <laughs> you're not gonna stand up. Like, to, it just forces a better yeah, yeah. connection, yeah, right? And yeah. that's what selling is. Selling is the connection of people connecting to your products. Um, whether they connect with you or not um, doesn't matter. Yeah, it matters. Um, but mostly, it's like if they don't feel connected to the product in a way that they're gonna come back. Yeah, they're just gonna. They will keep moving. Detour. Now, talk to me a little bit about because I feel like sometimes people don't think that bending requires as much as it does if you have a brick and mortar store. So it's like brick and mortar. You have your sales display you have all this other stuff but vending it's like light work right it's just no. a table you have the stuff no. so no. can you talk no. to me I about it for me i yeah. can speak yeah. first because i do not have a sales background right. i have never had a sales job ever in my life so between vending this whole experience is definitely pushing me out yeah, of my like comfort zone right, right. altogether. <laughs> so not only vending at the pop-up market, but other markets. Yeah, um, Even when I stand at 59 Front Street, because I'm also there, Yeah, I have to put myself out there mm-hmm. to speak to people to... You know when you go away and you're walking through a department mm-hmm. store, you kind of turn off. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, people are doing that to me. So 
Like, I don't want a whole silence. different appreciation, right? Exactly. I don't want a silence. completely different appreciation. Even if I need it, I don't want it. Exactly. Don't bother me. I'm not going to buy it. Exactly. Um, so for me, it's definitely pushing me to get out there, yeah. speaking about my product, making sure, you know, I mean, I know my product. And yes. it's, it's all about translating that so that somebody else can hear your story and grasp it in a few seconds because yes. honestly that's all you have that's before it. they keep walking that's right so yeah it's definitely um it's not easy that's for it's sure not. it's not it's, it's, a, it's not. an art actually <laughs> and then also what it looks like because the store and we're calling it the collective right yes. which i love <laughs> i think that is so cute um it's so beautiful, you know what I mean? And so I do think that sometimes, and we've had seminars and workshops on this about the aesthetics that go into vending as well. It's not just, okay, I'm here at this market and they're gonna come and buy it. You still have to appeal to people's senses, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the, the eyes, the nose, exactly. the ears, all of it. styling, skincare, and beauty. Yeah. People are coming to look and, you know, I built my brand off of me having eczema. That's mm -hmm. how I started. Mm -hmm. So when they come and they ask and it's like, well, what made you try this or do this? Or is it going to affect my eczema? And right. it's like, well, I have eczema. And it's like, you do? It's like, yeah, I've had it all my life. Yeah. I don't have flare ups as much as I used to. Um, but that helps to really connect. And even if the collector, like, we see people walking across and it's like, what's that? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. come in. Yeah. Like, it's okay. Mm -hmm. We're not going to you. You know, like, like, do I need to dress up as a safe loofah to get people in there? Like, because I'm feeling, you know, anything is possible we've seen now in December. Right. Um, but just doing what we have to do because people are like, this is a new, and I was like, we're in here till the end of December. Yeah. Um, it's a trial run, but so far it's going well. Okay. Yeah. Well, I love to hear that. And I, for me, I'm saying after the program or whatever the case may be, could there be mm. it after this experience, an opportunity to just do this? Mm. Yeah. You know what I exactly. mean? I, exactly. I am thankful to the BDC for all the assistance you guys have given us. Um, and I would say like, this is something that should be a part of the a program, of the yeah. program. Yeah. you know even if like it's a rotation of vendors mm -hmm. um but i definitely think it's something that the experience of it of what vending looks like having your table set up mm -hmm. and having your cash flow there and your um petty cash flow mm -hmm. you know making sure you got enough change mm -hmm. and you know staffing, that sort of yeah. working staffing, with other businesses all yeah. of that yeah. just it's it's been our time. Look, we can get rid of the course yeah. and just, <laughs> just throw y'all there. Like, exactly. Figure it out. Figure it out. We already know. Jamila will be calling us. You're going to come in and speak about that. Because yes, exactly. they did it. And we, like you said, there was no blueprint. Yeah. Um, We just decided. Initially, it was like, I don't think we could do this. Yeah. yeah. We did have that, like, really so much one. Like, I'm now took on all these vendors markets. Yeah. And then now we got this. And to stock a place. For six it's weeks a different every yeah. day. The brainstorming went from oh my god to oh hell no <laughs> <laughs> to okay we can do it like, and like it was up yeah, and it was down, down. And for I a few days for a few days. Mm -hmm. By the time like the Monday came, it we saddled. I think we each went and spoke with like yeah. family, friends, mentors, and everyone was just like. You can't give up this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, somehow, some way, just make it work. Mm -hmm. um, just be present and yeah. be there. And just within the space, it's like, this is nice. It's, I love it's that. Stressful. <laughs> you know, like, but for the most part, it's like, I know, like, come December 25th, 26th, it's yeah. going to be like, I survived it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> like, we did it. Yeah, exactly. Did it. <laughs> no, but I think. What this is, is saying to me is that experience really is the best teacher. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? And that's why we're always talking about through the program with this experiential learning, like whether it go somewhere else and see, right? right? Exactly. Because sometimes yeah. you don't get that, that full experience here in Bermuda. And so mm -hmm. we're like, yeah, no, go 
go see yeah. what other people are doing but having the opportunity to actually do it here mm -hmm. and that you don't have brick and mortar yeah. mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and seeing what it will require if that is in your plan yeah. you know for the future of your business i mean what what better education yeah than exactly it's, than not just, it. it's not just as simple as your doors are open people yeah. are gonna walk through it yeah. right yeah um like i said they call me in they ask questions are you gonna be here through christmas yes no guarantee that they're gonna come back yeah. because we are all still doing vendors markets on top of this. I know. So they may mm -hmm. find us somewhere else, right? And get the products there. Um, it's definitely been good for exposure, sure. regardless. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yes, I know. For me, I just launched last year, so. Yeah coming in people coming in like oh okay what's this and then they get to walk around like mm -hmm. you said they may be coming for felicia to mm -hmm. Rosia, but they see other vendors there so right. just the whole exposure the foot traffic has been great yeah, yeah. we've had people coming in can i vend like can i start from like <laughs> can, <laughs> can i pass out a pamphlet for me? i'm sorry <laughs> I, I can't help yeah we you. definitely set some um, ground rules yeah. Yeah. for yeah, ourselves and, like for exactly. ourselves and also respect to the bdc because, exactly you know it's like we are doing this because of you guys mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I can't just have anybody, like, <laughs> we'll be like we can't just exactly. put up your flyer. <laughs> right, so it's like, we yeah, already we have can. staff in issues. <laughs> this is it. So it's like, no, we're not putting up just random flyers. Yeah. And I, I appreciate if you don't ask, you don't know. That's you know? right. I mean, That's right. we've even had people come in and like, so can I come in and kind of have like a little mini photo shoot yeah. with the flow wall and, and everything. And it's like, no, we can't allow that. <laughs> Like, hey. If you're gonna promote the collective, yeah, then maybe. I mean, like, 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 yeah, so it was just like, I mean, people will ask, yeah, um, which yeah. we appreciate, yeah. Um, but we just said no out of respect for the BDC. Listen, we I'm really to. excited for you guys. I think it will, like I said, was a great idea, and that we didn't even think about it. We do it for the the young mm. people, but you guys need the help too because mm. you're in, in the process of launching and expanding your businesses. So I'm wishing you much success Thank with you. this year and i'm hopeful that after you finish your time with us or with bdc that this may be an opportunity for you to continue yeah. right like in my mind i'm thinking with expenses like you said shipping mm -hmm. like is there an opportunity to do a shipping cooperative we all need to bring in products exactly. can we all just get together on this yeah. container and then make it work you mm -hmm. know um so to me that's the ethos of this whole yeah. collective yes. right um, and so I feel like it doesn't have to end here. No, like no. once you you it's know exactly, how to yeah, exactly, you know how to exactly, move yeah, now, exactly. and you know what's required. And so if there's opportunities in the future, I hope you take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm really excited for you. Decided that hopefully you sell out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all want your skin to be looking right from now and forever, I come exactly. check out the collective. <laughs> um, yeah. Shout out to Astoria yeah. and Nia. Yeah concierge yeah, as well exactly. um but good good on you ladies for taking yeah. the initiative to get it started mm -hmm. um like bdc we're always trying to figure out how mm -hmm. we can continue to help and propel you where you need to be so mm -hmm. if this is helping we're yes. gonna keep it up yes um and i just want to encourage you to continue along your entrepreneurial journey um and so let the people know how they can reach you outside of coming to the collective in washington mall okay I um, have a studio on um, 72 Church Street, which is the teacher's place building, right next to the children's library. Mm -hmm. So they can also email me and reach me by phone. Okay. What's their email address? Info <laughs> at derosia.com, D-A-Y-R-O-S-I-A, -S and the number is 505-4503. Okay. Um, Inzuri Beauty is online, so InzuriBeauty.com. You can email me info at InzuriBeauty.com um, as well as, you know, social media yeah. um, or 538-0477. All yeah. right, and Nia's Concierge yes. and Lacquer Lounge are both on Instagram. Exactly. Okay. Um, and they both have websites as well. Okay. So. All right. Well, all the best for this holiday season. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to come check out, <laughs> get my gifts. <laughs> yeah. It was, well, doing it up. Yes. <laughs> And it's so cute. I, I mean, that's why people are trying to take pictures, right? Because yeah, it, it looks really good. Yeah. 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 And also, just to say, we try weekly to at least post 
that we'll be there. Yeah. Like if anything happens, we'll definitely post on social media. What that, your hours you know, and stuff. That's oh, it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And we may as it gets closer to the holiday, probably try and open a little earlier. Okay. Mm. Get get your gifts. Yeah. Give the people a lot <laughs> to get you the gifts. You better tell yeah. Miss Cheryl that. <laughs> <laughs> Because yes. you know, we have these other markets, and some days I'm like, I need to sleep in. Oh. Production can happen until late hours yeah. for me, yeah, yeah, um, and getting it all together. So, yeah, all right, ladies. Well, thank you for coming thank on Mind you. Your Business thank you for having us. <laughs> thank you, if you so don't much. Mind your business, who will exactly? exactly. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Mind Your Business with me, your host, Jamila Lodge. Tune in next week, Thursday at 4 p.m. Because if you don't mind your business, who will? Mind Your Business is brought to you by BEDC. Bermuda business starts here.